Thanks. Boom. <laughs> if you're happy, you know, clap your hands. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom and I am a content creator on Twitch and YouTube and a, an ambassador for the Alpine Esports uh, team. I would say the three words that describe me the best are passion, energy, and the last one might surprise you because it doesn't go uh, all too well with those two. Uh, I would say chill because um, um, even outside of the stream, I can be chill as well. So, um, not a lot of people actually know this, uh, the, the persons who have been following me for a long time have, maybe. Uh, I actually qualified for the F1 Esports Pro Draft in, in 2020, and uh, this is how I got in touch with, with Alpine as well, it's quite a cool story. And this is how we started uh, talking, to go together with the team principal of, uh, of Alpine Esports, Richard. And uh, this is basically how, uh, how we all started. Um, back in 2020, and of course now in, uh, in 2021 as an ambassador for the Alpine Esports team. So there's a lot of different um, opinions actually on what the actual difference is between gaming and esports. Uh, but for me, I feel like esports is um, the competition at the highest level. Uh, and with gaming, comp competition is very important as well because that's basically what makes gaming fun. Um, but it could be a little bit more casual. So. Uh, competing as, at a casual level and not having that professional high level with training every single day as well as actually what goes around the uh, the training uh, which is physical training mental training and all that good stuff that comes with esports <laughs> that's a little bit of a of a, of a good question because i actually don't really play all too uh, too many games in my free time because i i play f1 2021 the most uh, like three hours a day while streaming and then whenever I'm done with that I have my studies, I have all the other stuff that I got to do uh, but every now and then I like to play on my phone or or do some games uh, with friends uh, for example, yeah, some, some party games just some fun games to relax Normally I, I don't play that much actually I normally play... Uh, solely when I'm when I'm streaming which normally takes like three and a half hours but once I'm done streaming I'm so tired because I always put way too much energy in my streams uh, that I just lay down on the couch and and, and play a couple games or just watch uh, watch some 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 movies or, or series or whatever Alpine presents to me well uh, the quickest sports brand in the uh, the Renault um, uh, group uh, hopefully, of course, as well, at some point, uh, a world champion in Formula 1, as well as uh, a world champion in, uh, in eSports too. Let's hope. So, I actually get this question a lot. Uh, what is the ambassador uh, role in Alpine eSports? So, basically, I am a content creator in my, in, my, in my spare time, as well as for Alpine. I create content together, uh, uh, representing the Alpine eSports brand. And uh, there's some really, really cool stuff to come, as well as the Alpine Esports show, actually, that we host after every uh, F1 Esports event. So if you haven't yet tuned into that, then make sure you do. Je peux parler un petit peu de français, uh, mais seulement uh, quelques mots. That's basically it. Every time somebody asks me, I literally just run that sentence the entire time. Well, actually, I, don't, I, I speak a little bit of French. I've, um, I've actually had French as a, as a as a class for about six years. So uh, yeah, I, I do know how to, uh, to explain myself in French, but normally when people are talking French, it's so hard to, to actually listen because they talk so quickly. But uh, no, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Nah, you're not gonna do this to me. You're not gonna do this to me. It's so hard, honestly. I, I don't wanna pick sides, but if I had to pick one, there's only one driver that has ever uh, sent me a video message. And that is Esteban Ocon. So uh, no, honestly, uh, it's so hard, it's so hard to pick a, a favorite driver. Uh, but I would say Esteban Ocon because um, he sent me that video message for uh, for a 24-hour stream I did, uh, which was really, really, really cool. And hopefully this year as well. Um, of course, we have competition all over the place. We saw Alonso with some really cool uh, battles, and uh, maybe a new champion this year as well. So uh, let's see. Looking forward to it regardless. Mm -hmm.